Hey everyone, this is Kai here, and this week we plan to do a cover on my YouTube channel, but it didn't quite work out. We're filming it tomorrow. So, uh, a Q&A right here for you guys. I asked, uh, I asked you guys for questions on Instagram, at I'm Kai Baldwin, go follow me on Instagram. And uh, you guys brought these back. Amy's gonna read me these questions, and I hope you enjoy. Let's go. What was your inspiration to start singing? What was your inspiration to start singing? Um, in case you didn't hear the question, Amy's going to speak a little bit louder. Uh, so when I was 10, I was on Australia's Got Talent for when I was tap dancing. And uh, just after that, we, I, th I really, really enjoyed being on the TV and being a, and being performing and everything. And so my mum just said, hey, do you want to start singing lessons? And I was like, sure. We ended up just getting this app called Voice Tutor, not actual lessons. And um, just to learn a little bit how to sing, just to get my head around it. But we had no clue how to use the app. None of my family is musical in any way. And so we contacted the creators of it, uh, asking for like a, a lesson, just to, a lesson on the app. And the guy ended up, uh, his name's Rob, he ended up uh, bringing me on as a student. He said, um, he can't sing, this is what he said to my mom. he said he can't sing, but he knows he can't sing and he knows when he's wrong, so with training he'll be able to sing. It's a, it's a really cool story and that's how I got into singing. I didn't have any passion for it beforehand or anything, but I fell in love with it just as time went on. Alright, next question. If you were stuck on an island and could only have music from three artists, who would they be and why? Okay, so I'm stuck on an island, three artists. Okay, I'm definitely going with The Greatest Showman soundtrack, and I know that's more than one artist, but I'm letting that slide because, oh my God, that album. Um, the second one would be Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. Again, one artist. And third one, Ed Sheeran. When did you move to LA? When did my, uh, we moved to LA nearly two years ago. I was about, like, what, 18, 20 months ago now. There's nothing else to say. Let's go. What's your favorite movie that you have recently watched? <laughs> the Greatest Showman, no doubt about it. Do you have a real bed yet? No. <laughs> no, I, um, since we've got to America, I've been sleeping on the floor. We have like a, a little foam. It's like a bed topper. And so technically the floor is my bed. If you weren't a singer or part of the industry, what would you do? Oh, that's a good one. Um, probably a photographer. I love taking photos. If you know, know any of my friends, they'll say that I just take random pictures of them all the time. What was the first instrument you learned? First instrument I learned was the guitar, and that was just before I started singing. Oh, does tap dancing count as an instrument? No, it doesn't. Anyway, let's go. How do you improve your voice? Easy. Practice. Lots and lots of practice. There's no other way around it. Can you do a backflip? Um, not a backflip as in with my hands, but a back tuck where you don't use your hands on the floor. Yes, I can do that. Um, I haven't done it in a little, a little while, so don't ask for proof. But um, <laughs> no, but if you watch Hula Hoop by uh, my cover of Hula Hoop on the DreamWorks TV channel, you can see me doing it just there. Have you ever dyed your hair? Yes, actually. Uh, I dyed my hair for a short film when I was, what? eight or ten or something like that, I dyed strawberry blonde. It's on my YouTube channel, it's called Peanut Butter. What's your favorite type of pizza? Favorite type of pizza? Ooh, absolutely nothing on it except cheese. So just the bread and the cheese, no tomato paste or anything, I hate tomato. And that's the only type of pizza I'll have. In some of your videos, you mentioned gluten-free. Do you have celiac disease? Yes, I do. Uh, everything I have, everything, my mum and I both have celiac disease, so everything we eat has to not have wheat, rye, barley, or oats in it. What is the, your favorite cover of a song you've done and why? Oh, okay. Um, probably my cover of Get Stupid because I love the dancing and everything on that. And when I was editing it, it was so much fun. Like in the bridge when the, when the colors were like glowing and that, that was great. Um, or, when I was your man, uh, 15 year old versus 11 year old, because looking back at my 11 year old self and seeing how far I'd come was just insane. Plus, I feel like my voice was at a really good stage in, uh, when I recorded that. And then I had the voice break and everything and it went a little bit downhill, but we're going back up. <laughs> do you have a P.O. box? Yes, I do. Um, I don't know it offhand, but I'll put a photo on it 
of it on the screen right now. How long have you been acting, singing and dancing? Alright, um, acting is just something that I've always remembered doing, going out for auditions. Mum put me into modelling when I was a baby because I just loved the camera. And, um, and acting, yeah, I've always been doing, but my first big role was um, when I was 13 or 14 in Peter Allen, not the boy next to I played the young Peter Allen. Uh, dancing, I started tap dancing when I was seven and went from there and singing when I was 10. A lot of people have asked, what are your opinions on bullying and how do you deal with it? Yes, so we have got this a lot. So bullying just absolutely sucks. There's no other way around it. And I just would like to start this off by saying I haven't really got much extreme or excessive bullying like a lot of you guys have, have experienced because you guys have messaged me about it. Um, so I may not be the best person to get advice from, though I can tell you uh, a story. When I was younger, uh, when I was at school, I was being left out of a lot of stuff, a lot of activities. And there was another kid that was being left out and he was just crying and he was so shaken up about it. And he was saying to me, why are you not, why are you not bothered? And I, I remember telling, telling him uh, about this game that my mum used to make me play. And she said, you're a Jedi master and you've got your lightsaber. And she said, if anybody ever does anything or says something to you that's nasty, you just whack that thing out of the park. You deflect it because it really, you can't, you can't let it get to your heart. And it's always, it's always, a reflection on the bullies insecurities and their problems and it's never actually about you it's about the bully so you just got to realize that and get your lightsaber out and just deflect it because it really means absolutely nothing about you it doesn't matter who they are um, they're eventually going to go away it's the time is going to pass and so you just can't let it reach your heart you gotta deflect it also I feel like another thing that might be good is really focusing on things and hobbies and activities instead of focusing on friends and people. Um, I feel like really getting absorbed into a, a skill or a hobby or activity would really help with being able to be with yourself and um, not rely on a friend group or anything like that. Um, really that's, that's all I can say about it. Again, I haven't experienced this too much so I just want to put that out there. If it really is bothering you, you can go get some help. You can go uh, talk to someone experienced. Um, I think that's the last question. I really thank you guys so much for all the questions on Instagram at I am Kai Baldwin. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day now wherever you are, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye. And thank you to all my Patreons on Patreon as well. Uh, if you want to join the crew, you can head to patreon.com forward slash I am Kai Baldwin.